Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to add the quick OSM plugin to your QGIS project. So to add that plugin, let's go up to the top under Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins. Now let's click on to the All. Now we can either scroll down to Quick OSM. These are all in alphabetical order, or we could just simply type. Okay, so Quick OSM plugin and click install. This should only take a moment. But what this plugin does is it brings in the OpenStreetMap uh, data directly to your QGIS project. So that's your polygons, lines, points, um, etc. So it looks like it's all uh, installed. Let's go ahead and close out that window. And as you can see right here, these are the, are the new tools for the quick OSM. So let's go ahead and get a a base map here so kind of see where we're going and to do that let's go up to web quick map services uh, there's ESRI base maps Google base maps if you want to know how to add these uh, please check out the link above so let's do Google hybrid and let's just scroll into an area here let's see downtown downtown Miami as an example so say you want to get all the buildings within this canvas extent so let's go ahead and click on to the quick osm spyglass icon here now there's a set of presets here um, that the plugin provides but let's just say we'll keep this simple we want to select all buildings okay and now we could further redefine that by the type of building, but let's just include everything. Say if we wanted to include, say, just apartments, we would add that. You know, then you would say buildings. Um, say if you wanted commercial, you know, you add it that way. Otherwise, you, know, you could remove that and remove that. So let's start again. So all buildings. In. Now we could type in, say, Miami, for example, so it would just include the whole geographic area, or you could say around a particular area, canvas, extent of a layer. Um, but right now, let's just do it for the extent of what I have in the background here, so the canvas extent. Okay, so we will go down here and run the query and this shouldn't take too long so again what this is doing is just pulling the OpenStreetMap data right into our QGIS project okay so let's go ahead and close out of this and again the canvas extent here it pulled all the buildings here if I scroll a little bit over you can see where that divider is so in a quick note that these are just temporary files you can see this little icon here uh, so if I close down my project right now I would lose this so what you would do to save this is right click um, you would do export save as and then you know a shape file you would give it a location and then you would save it so anyway uh, hope that helps uh, please leave a, a comment if you have any questions about that and as always Please uh, like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.